Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 82. Yesterday, on day number 81, we began a series on ratio and proportions. Today, we'll do today we'll do few problems dealing with the notion of proportions. Here is the first problem on the blackboard. We are told that Mike. Mike Piator can assemble five parts in eight minutes. He can assemble five parts in eight minutes. The question is very straightforward, very simple. The question simply is how many parts, how many parts can he assemble in Two hours. Let's find that out, shall we? In two hours. That's the two. In two hours. So what are the two things we're dealing with here? Make sure your units are consistent. Here we have hours. Here we are given two hours. Here we're given eight minutes. Make sure your units are consistent. Convert these two hours immediately into 120 minutes before you end up making some careless mistakes. So what, what two things we're dealing with here? We're dealing with parts and minutes. So that's what it is, parts and minutes. Set it up like this, parts and minutes. We are told that he can assemble five parts in eight minutes. They go on to further, they go on, they go on to ask us how many parts, how many parts, parts is the unknown here, how many parts can he assemble in two hours? Two hours we know is 120 minutes. And that's for you, that's for you to make sure that you put here 120 and not two. Because if you end up putting two here, one of the answer choices that will be given to you will be will match your answer based on having a two here, because of course we're dealing we're preparing for one of these exams here ACT, SAT, TES, GMAT, GRE. These are all multiple choice exams, and they will give you one answer choice, which will look exactly like the answer that you come up with. If it's sort of 120, you end up putting two here. Let's solve for it. Just cross multiply. I'm going. I'm not going to explain all the steps here. So x is going to be five times 120, five times 120 over eight. That's it. Don't waste your time multiplying these numbers out, which is what I see a lot of the time kids do that. Don't do that. Start, can, start reducing it. 120. We have to divide 120 by 8. 120 by 8. The reason I'm doing it on the side here so that it's easier for you to follow. We have to divide 120 by 8 because 5, of course, there is not going to do anything with 8. How many, how many 8 does 1 have? How many 8 does 1 have? 1 has no 8s. That one goes and joins the two becomes twelve. How many eight does twelve have? Twelve has one eight. Twelve has one eight. The remaining four from the twelve goes and joins the zero and becomes forty. How many eight does forty have? Forty has five eights. Five eights are forty. And we find that the answer is so eight divided by one twenty we just found out is fifteen. So it's five times fifteen. X equals five times fifteen or seventy-five. 5 times 15 over 75. Now, if you didn't want to do all this mumbo jumbo, if you didn't want to get it, uh, get, do it in such an academic way, you could simply ask yourself how many 8 minutes do we have in 120 minutes? Right here. That's all it is. The question is how many 8 minutes, how many 8 minute segment do we have in a period of 120 minutes? And you can do that simply by doing what we just did here. There are 15 8 minute segments in 120 minutes. And since he can do five parts in one segment, they will therefore he will do five times fifteen, just like we saw here. Let's do the next one, shall we? Let's do the next one. We are told that on a map, on a map, a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch represents five miles. A quarter of an inch represents five miles. The question is a distance, a distance of 90 miles will be how many inches? Distance of 90 miles will be represented, represented on the map 
by a line segment how many inches long that's all it is so what two, two, what two items we're dealing with here always figure out the two items that we're dealing with in a proportion problems here we're dealing with clearly with inches and miles inches and miles that's how we're going to set it up inches and miles now if you do it, if you did miles over inches it wouldn't make any it wouldn't make any difference it would still be okay but I have a I have a habit of always putting down what I see first on the top and what comes later at the bottom inches appear first so I put it on the top then appears the miles that way it's easier to follow so now we can just follow it on the map one quarter inch one quarter inch represents five miles the question is how many a distance of 90 miles so 90, 90 miles 90 miles will be how many inches that's all so it's just going to be 90 times one quarter divided by five x is going to be 90 times one quarter divided by five Let's first divide 90 by 5 before we worry about one quarter part. And whatever the answer that we get, we'll just simply take a quarter of that. How many, how many 5 does 9 have? 9 has 1 5. 9 has 1 5. The remaining 4 goes and joins the 0 becomes 40. How many 5 does 40 have? 40 has 8 5s. And now the 5 is gone. 40 has 8 5s because we know 8 5s are 40. We know our timetables. Now we just have to figure out a quarter quarter of 18. In other words, we have to figure out 18 divided by 4, a quarter of 18, which is pretty straightforward. 16, 16 would make it 4, 16 divided by 4 is 4, and this is not 16, this is 18, so we have a remainder of 2, which has to be divided by 4. It's 4, 4 and 2 fourths, or 4 and a half, 4 and a half. That's all. Very simple, very straightforward. Again, if you didn't want to be so academic, if you didn't want to do it in such a nerdy way, such a geeky way, such an academic way, the straightforward method would be simply to ask yourself, we have a distance of 90 miles, how many 5 miles do we have in a 90 miles? How many 5 miles do we have in a 90 miles? And the answer of course is 18, we just did that there. 9 divided by 5 is, 9 has 1 5, the remaining 4 goes and joins to 0 becomes 40, and 40 has, 40 has, 8 5 are 40. So there are 18, there are 18, there are 18 5 mile segments in a 90 miles, which makes perfect sense because there are 9 10 mile segments, because 10 times 9 is 90. There are 9 10 mile segments, therefore there should be 18 5 mile segments. Once we know that there are 18 segments, we just have to take a quarter of it. Each one of them is quarter, each one of those segments is represented by a quarter of an inch. Therefore the total that we need is a quarter of quarter of 18 and we, we, we see how we do it had it been 16, 16 16 divided by 4 is 4 but it's not 16 is 18 so we have a remainder of 2 which is to be divided by 4 4 and a half let's do one more shall we let's do one more We are told that it takes it takes 24 minutes to do 3 8 of a job. It takes 28 minutes to do 3 8 of a job. How long will it take to do the whole job? Again, we have choice. We have two choices here. We can set it up in a very academic way, or we can just do it intuitively. We'll do it both ways. Let's do it the academic way here, the nerdy way here, and then we'll do it the intuitive way here. The, the academic way would be to ask ourselves what two things we're dealing with. We're dealing with minutes and jobs. Minutes and job. We are told that there are 24 minutes that are required to do three or eight of a job. Question is, how long will it take to do the whole job, which is, the whole job is 1. And that's it. So x is going to be right here, 24 divided by 3 8. 24 divided by 3 8, and of course we know that when we have a number being divided by a fraction, which is same as 24 times 8 thirds. 24 times 8 thirds, 24 divided by 3 is going to be 8, and it's 8 times 8, which is 64. But this is, as I said, very academic way, very nerdy way, very geeky way, very classical way, very orthodox way, very conventional way. 
the way your math teacher would expect you to do it. More, more straightforward way, the direct way would be to solve it intuitively because you're taking the exam, time is of the essence. You don't sit there and do all this uh, nitty gritty details, it's not necessary. You just, have to, you just have to be able to think logically and figure out the answers in a matter of seconds, which is very really straightforward. We are told that 3 eighths of a job, 3 8 takes, takes 24 minutes. Well, if 3 8 takes 24 minutes, then that implies that 1 8, 1 8, must take, must take a third of that amount, which is 8 minutes, which makes perfect sense. If 3 eighths of a job takes 24 minutes, then 1 eighth, which is 1 third of that, should take 8 minutes. If 1 eighth takes 8 minutes, then that also implies that 8 eighth, which is the whole, should take 8 times as much, 64 minutes. We don't have to do it in a, such a nerdy way, such a, such a geeky way, in such an academic way. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.